Now we love football on this show, right? This is three football guys, but we also love real life. Yep. And I'm surprised Channing didn't ask this question because this is a very Channing-like question. You you think he's you said he was a good looking guy. You, you put you put him in your tier. Yeah. I'm a good looking tier down. You remember that? I'm, yeah. I'm a step below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody thinks I'm a trash. <laughs> the whole world. <laughs> you know, and and you're you're a very young man, even though, you know, you got that extra year of college, you know, you're going into your second year, and you keep mentioning your fiance and the things and the trust that you have in her and how she's doing things with your parents. Just to have that sort of relationship is big for a young player. Because yeah. a lot of times it's the parents pulling at the young player like, nah, it's time for you to do for me. So the fact that they can have that sort of relationship that supports you and says, Kenny, go play quarterback. Yeah. Right. But for you, what was that decision like, man, to to pop the question and, and say, you know, this is what I want to do. You are who I want to be with for the rest of my life. Yeah, man, it was it was awesome. So it was almost I think it was January 22nd. We're getting married uh, June 24th. So we're working kind of kind of quick. But uh, it's just kind of that cliche. Like when you know, you know, like I just had no doubt. Um, that she's someone I want to spend the rest of my life with just, you know, personally, like how we connect on a personal level. Like she works in private equity. I think she has longer hours than I did, like during the season. Like she's out of the house at eight, back at eight o'clock at night. She's out there working right now. So like we just kind of connected on that level. And then I think it took off from there. Like her, her family's awesome. Her family's in Naples uh, right now. My parents are working in a house in Marco Island. So like they're 30 minutes away. We grew up 15 minutes away. Um, you know, met on a, on a college break. She went to Princeton. You know, I was at Pitt. We ended up training at the same place growing up. So she was, uh, shout out to Val Barnaby, my guy Val. Uh, that's that's kind of where we met, like when we were like 10 years old. Never never spoke to each other. We're just in the same building. Always had a crush on her, but never said anything. And then when I saw her on a college break, I was like, okay, I think it's time that I say something now. So um, I'm really glad I did. And uh, now we're here, man. And I can't say enough great things about Amy and what she means to me. Well, what, what did you say? I got to know the line now. You've been chasing him for 10, 15 like good, years. He was like Goodwill Hunting in that day on that one. You were yeah. stalking her for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we were playing uh, either beer pong or something, and I was like, I need a partner. So I was like, hey, come be my partner. And then it took, it took off from there, man. So we were just uh, we were winning some games and uh, had a little connection there, and then it took off.